All right. Hey, everybody. This is Chuck Marone with Strong Towns. I'm, I'm here in the office today. I want to take a minute and talk about what's going on in California with the fires. And there's a lot to say here. I'm not really ready to weigh in on everything that's going on. Uh, but I do want to bring up one thing that I keep seeing over and over and over again, and that is people who are complaining about the water system in L.A. and how the water system has somehow failed us. If people were more competent, if people were more on top of things, I even saw some people saying, this proves the Strong Towns thesis. This proves that Strong Towns is right. We're not properly doing water systems. Uh, no, 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 no. Um, let me just say off the top, there is no way to build a water system big enough to fight a forest fire. You just, just don't do it. It's just not possible. I remember when there was the hurricanes in Houston a couple years ago, Hurricane Harvey, and people were saying, well, this, is, this shows that Houston has bad development practices and they're filling in their wetlands and they don't have enough stormwater retention. I, I sat down and like, look, if you would have had enough stormwater retention for this, all Houston would be would be stormwater retention. Like it's not physically possible to build the infrastructure systems to handle this in this way. It's the same thing here in LA. Municipal water systems are primarily for fighting fire on a house, on a business, on a block. You can handle, I mean, there's enough redundancies in here to handle those kind of things and provide drinking water. Drinking water is like a side benefit of having a water system to fight fires. A block fire in a city, a house that catches on fire and the fire department has to go out and respond, a block that catches on fire. You're, you're basically trying to suppress the fire and keep it from going house to house to house. A forest fire is a radically different thing. And what we have here is a forest fire. It's a conflagration, 100 miles an hour winds, the, the, the wind chimneys kind of going up the sides of the slopes. This is stuff that you cannot fight with pipes and fire hydrants and fire trucks. You just, you just can't. Uh, it doesn't work that way. And for all the people who are saying, well, you know, this shows the, in look, I'm the first one to say there's a ton of incompetence in California. California is like synonymous with government incompetence in so many ways, but this is not one of them. And the people who are saying these hydrants should have been full, uh, these reservoirs should have been full. If every reservoir in the state was 100% full, it would have dra drained them dry fighting this thing as quick as the water would flow through the pipes. Um, the pipes themselves are not sized to bring enough water in to actually fight a forest fire. Um, these things are at a different scale. It's a different magnitude. It's a whole entirely different system. If you watch people who fight fires, they're fighting fires with planes. They're fighting fires with you know, pulling up buck. Now, here's the thing. There's a ton of water in Southern California. There's an ocean right there. There's a ton of water that we could use. It's important to recognize that that's a different strategy. That's a different approach. And while I think we can be critical that they weren't set up to use that approach, there's also reasons why they weren't. That's not what gets funded, right? Um, those kind of things, I mean, let's look, when Rome defeated Carthage, what did they do? They went and spread salt on all their fields so that nothing would ever grow there. Pouring salt on top of a neighborhood or salt water on top of a neighborhood to put out fire is like a last desperation move. I think we should have been ready for that move. And I think it's sad that they weren't ready to use that move. Um, but I mean, this is very, very different than the criticism that somehow we've underfunded or underbuilt just the regular old water system because it should have been set up to fight a fire. If someone says that, they don't know what they're talking about. They don't know what they're talking about from an engineering standpoint, mechanistic. They, they don't understand it from a funding standpoint. This would be a bizarre use of, of resources, um, just completely out of scale with uh, how you would actually set up a system to do something like that. So when you hear pundits, politicians, and others say things like, hey, the hydrants ran dry and that's a sign of incompetence, the fact that they're saying that is a sign that they don't know what they're talking about, not a sign of incompetence. Plenty of incompetence here. We'll talk about it in the future, but that's not one of them. Be informed. Don't be, don't be dumb like some of these pundits are. Thanks, everybody.